Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Life series. Uh, this is just a quick video showing you where you can get a unique bow right at the beginning of the game at any level, plus some loot and loads of ingredients, and it seamlessly complements the complete camping system mod we're using. Okay, let's just crack on. So here we are in one of my favourite parts of Skyrim, the, the rift, and uh, I thought we'd bring up here just to have a quick look at the view. Uh, if you look around, you can see Windhelm just in the corner there, in between the two mountains. Absolutely stunning, you can see for miles. And if you look around there, you can see the throws to the world. And that's the place we're going to go. So, we'll just have a quick look where we are. And the place is called a Clear Spring Tarn. It's near um, Mistwatch. Uh, the Atronax uh, Stone's not far away. Uh, Dark Water Crossing and Redwater Den's on the other side of the mountain. So, it's actually not a, not a, uh, a hard place to find. But there's a few things that we want to look at here. So, let's get going. Now there's always a couple of hunters that show up here looking for deer. But they're not hostile, so don't worry about them. And we can run all the way down here. I'm too weak to start jumping off mountains at the moment. Oh, that's a wolf that attacked me early on. And there's another one. And go on, Lee, go on, go on, you deal with him. You deal with him. <laughs> I'm a third person, too far away to get it right. <laughs> this is why I bring followers with me. Protect me when I'm travelling. I mean, you've got your th when you're third person, so far away, it's very difficult to do combat. Oh dear. Nom nom. Of course, we're camping now, so we need all this stuff. Okay, come straight down here. And there's one of the hunters. I've been hunting and you can buy bits and bobs for them if you look. want. Go hide, Mama Tass, blah 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 blah. Not interested. Until next time. Okay, so dive straight in here, hunt around, and there's usually a few bits and bobs in there. Oh, some fish, catch those. Yeah. I'm, I'm, try and get those. Got that. Come, come, come on, come on. Go on, come on, there you go. Okay, there's a hit of um, a chest just here, it's only apprentice lock. Uh, I doubt very much we get anything out of it. We're level five still at the moment. And 31 gold. That'll do, nom nom. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is run around here. We well, didn't have to come up here, actually. Just run around the side of the lake. Down here. Round the corner. And just a bit further on and into an unmarked cave. I mean, you could literally play this game ten times and then never find this, to, to be honest with you. Okay. Okay, loads of mushrooms and stuff in here. Make sure you grab all these. Everything. Get out of the way and they go. Let us tread carefully. Okay. And loads, loads. And there's a level troll guarding the bow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind it up and I'm going to let my two followers, Sophia and uh, Inigo, deal with it. Well, look out the bound bow. I use a bamboo fair bit now because I want to get my conjuration up. And there you go. That's annoyed him. And I'll run around the back. Go on, guys. Deal with him. Go on, Indigo. Don't stand there, man. 
Oh, he's doing some damage to Sophia. Okay, I better pile in here. I don't want to lose Sophia. Okay, you good to go, girl? Yeah, she'll be fine. Okay, troll fat, nom nom. And lots of mushrooms. Yeah, she's fine. I'll be around, lovely. Oh, yep. Yeah. We want a troll skull. Because we use one of those to bring it, uh, make our uh, enchanting table. Or arcane enchanter. Get out of the way, stop bumping me. Hitboxes and these are very small. Take that, nom nom. Nom de nom de. And there's usually a leveled shield and weapon down here as well. Uh, normally a skeleton, but there's no skeleton this time. So hide shield. Now, if you come at a high level, you obviously get a. Uh, and oh, I can see a mace set. Yep, 65. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Okay, I don't think there's any fish in here I can catch. Anything else? Oh, 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 oh. Want this. Hang him, Moss. Definitely want that. Don't look at me. I'm not taking the blame. No, I'm not. Okay, I think that's pretty much all the ingredients. Okay, and we've got a level chest. And come up here. Oh, can I get up there? Come on, come on. Oh, I'll take the hanging moss. No, no. Oh, yeah, bugger, come on. <laughs> the hitbox is so small. There you go. Right. Okay, and we've got a chest here again. Oh, some potions down here. Okay, not much. Okay, so let's take a quick look at what we came for. And here it is on this plinth with its god rays and everything. It actually, I'm sure it's a reference to her scene and maybe even a hidden artifact, who knows. But it does look magnificent there. Okay, let's grab it and uh, let's take it out for a test run. Okay, oh, there's a potion now I miss. Any more mushrooms? Nope, we've already got those. Okay, let's get the hell out of Dodge. Just making sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, I'm sure I have, but... Oh, what's that? Anything down there? Nothing I can see. Okay, back out into Skyrim. Ooh, yep, nom nom. Okay, right. I know exactly where we're going to go hunting. And that's a tundra near White Run. You get loads of usually uh, deer and stuff, and that's what we're going to go after. So, now the one unique thing about this bow, it's got a base damage of 10, which is three more than uh, a normal hunting bow. Around about the same as a, an orcish bow. But it's also got a special enchantment, which adds 20 damage to animals now this is particularly useful at no, uh, no, a lower level uh, when you're coming up against uh, things like frostbite spiders bears trolls churuses uh, saber-toothed cats mammoths etc definitely definitely worth um, having and of course if you're in the role-playing thing like we are with the camping side of it or you're role-playing a hunter in the game I mean, this this bow is it. This this is what you want. Uh, absolutely fantastic. So let's go through the whole specs. 
As I say, it's got a base damage of 10, around the same as a, a Norkish bow, where normal hunting bows have a base damage 7, um, plus the bow, bow uh, bears and chump of, uh, that inflicts 20 points of extra damage to animals. Um, and I said it will lose usefulness as you level up, but it's particularly useful like a, as an early level or you're role playing um, as, as a hunter, that kind of thing. Now, interesting thing, this doesn't have a glow like normal uh, enchanted items. Um, and also unlike the regular hunting bow, which only requires a single leather strip at a grindstone uh, to upgrade, the bow of the hunt has to be upgraded with a steel ingot at a grindstone, as well as have the arcane blacksmith uh, perk and benefits from the steel smithing perk, which doubles the improvement. But if you upgrade this all the way, this is going to be uh, a useful bow to use for quite some time. Anyway guys, this bow fits in perfectly with our uh, camping mods and uh, I hope you go and get it, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you next time. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.